Hello, family of God. This is Lisa Gordon from Gordon Ministries and Jesus City Church, and I'd like to encourage you today on a message I've entitled, Think Like God Thinks. Isaiah 55, 8 through 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. According to this scripture, our thoughts are not God's thoughts. Let me give you an example. There was a businessman from America that was doing business in Dubai. One of the members of the royal family came in and asked him what he'd like as a gift before he left. The businessman politely said, Nothing, thank you. The sheikh from Dubai insisted and said, It's our tradition to give a gift. Because the American man didn't want to offend their tradition, he said, Well, how about a golf club? The sheikh from Dubai said, Fine. And the American walked away. About three weeks later, a knock came to the man's front door and he introduced himself as so-and-so from the royal family and said, I've come to take you to your golf club. There were 18 holes, a restaurant, a golf pro shop, putting greens, a clubhouse, etc. See, the American was thinking golf club, the actual stick, the sheikh from Dubai was thinking club. It's so important that we think like God thinks. Proverbs 23 7 says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. I'd like to give you a scriptural example from Numbers 13 that illustrates how important it is that we think like God thinks. This is the story about the Lord speaking to Moses and telling him to send out men to spy out the land of Canaan. When they got there to the valley of Eshkol, they cut down a branch with one cluster of grapes that was so big, the men had to carry it between the two of them on a pole. Verse 23. They also brought some of the pomegranates and figs. After spying out the land for 40 days, they brought back word to all the congregation and said, It truly flows with milk and honey, and showed them the fruit. Listen to what verse 28 says. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there the giants. So Caleb quiets down the people before Moses and says in verse 30, let's go up at once and take possession for we are well able to overcome it. Verses 31 through 32 go on to say, but the men who had gone up with him said, we are not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants, and all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. Now here's the climax. Look at verse 33. There we saw the giants, and we were like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we were in their sight. I frequently remind myself of this story from Numbers 13 because it's such a good example of how important it is that we have a kingdom mentality. We must remain hopeful in the midst of troubling circumstances. In life, we all go through difficult situations, but we must deal with them by finding out what God's Word has to say and think His thoughts. See, perfect circumstances do not exist in this fallen world, but you can find peace through the words that Jesus spoke in John 16, 33. He said, I've told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace and confidence. 
in the world. You have tribulation and trials and distress and frustration. But be of good cheer. Be cur- take courage. Be confident, certain, and undaunted. For I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of its power to harm you and have conquered it for you. Well, guess what? 1 John 5, 4 says, For whatever or whoever is born of God, that's you, overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Our faith in God and in His Word. I want to encourage you not to give up when you're being afflicted by the devil. Because Psalm 34, 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers him out of them all. So put your faith in God's word by having a kingdom mentality. Replace your thoughts with God's overcoming thoughts and you'll triumph in every situation. Father, I thank you for giving us the attitude of a conqueror. Even though we all face trials and obstacles in life, we are well able to overcome our tests and trials by keeping our minds fixed on your word alone. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, will not speak anything contrary to your word or spread any evil reports. We're determined to feed our minds and spirits on the word of God and refuse to murmur and complain. You told us that death and life are in the power of the tongue. We will speak to our circumstances and tell them to be quiet like Jesus did to the storm. We refuse to fear and trust that you will always bring us through. We love you and praise you for your word today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. I pray that you were encouraged. And if you were and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate or text to give at 888-508-4830 and text the word give. I encourage you to strive to think like God thinks. Bye for now.